Matt here with Mobile Solar. Today we're finishing up a solar install on this Rockwood R281RK. So this is a 28 foot fifth wheel and we managed to fit over 2300 watts on the roof. Let's go see the action. This customer really wanted to max out what they could do with solar. So I told them the best way to do that is if we clear cover over top of the air conditioners with bifacial solar panels. And we elevated the solar panels. We've got our rail system holding them in place and we've still got a nice walkway. So we didn't want to take away their roof's accessibility. They can still crawl and walk really all the way to the front of the roof. They have a big access point here in the middle to get into their max air fan if they need to replace the cover to see their skylight. We didn't want to block their skylight and they can get over to the driver's side there and clean off both slides with a nice long broom. Not only is this the best way to fit the most solar because you have the most surface area when you don't have to work around your air conditioners, max air fans, skylights, and roof vents, but also these are bifacial solar panels. So these gather light on both sides and being this high up in the air, they really are getting good light on the backside as well. When they are getting light on the backside, they're gonna reach up to 2,760 watts in total on this roof. And this is only a 28 foot trailer from front to back. So that is a really, really good number for this roof. Had we used the 250 watt rich solar panels and directly used Z brackets to directly screw them into the roof, we would have been maxed out at 2,000 watts. And it's not quite a real 2,000. You know, if you have solar on your RV, you know, that you're gonna get five to 10% less than that, even in great conditions. With these bifacial panels, its nameplate is 2300 watts, but really we're getting more than that in good light conditions. There's multiple other benefits to having your whole roof covered in panels like this. Number one is that it's shading your roof, so it's keeping your RV cool, and it's shading your air conditioners, so they're gonna operate at a higher efficiency. The other thing that they're doing is they're protecting your roofs coating material and sealants from the constant beating of the sun and the rain on them. You can see the clamps holding the panels down in the middle and then there's a special clamp on the end here but both of them unscrew with just an impact driver with a socket adapter. So this is actually super simple to remove a panel, move it to the side, act, you know, service your air conditioner or replace a broken panel without having to you know, remove the sealant and replace the sealant and open up those holes in your roof anytime a panel needs to be moved or replaced. So in the front bay here, we've got our Multi Plus 2 inverter charger. This is powering just about everything in the RV. So normally we tell our clients that that powers one large appliance or one air conditioner. But in this case, we did put a chill cube up at the front. It was wired for an air conditioner, but it didn't have one there. So we removed the max air fan and put an AC unit in. And the chill cube is so efficient that for the most part, this can actually power the chill cube and power the Coleman AC in the rear at the same time. Now there will be times where it's too hot and the inverter would overload in those situations, but generally speaking, they can sort of power both ACs at once, which is pretty cool. We've got two volt go batteries, five kilowatt hours each, 24 volts. So they've got a nice 10 kilowatt hours of storage. It's gonna be more than enough for them to run that chill cube, keep their bedroom cool all night, keep the fridge running, just about anything they need to do. We've also got the Orion 24 to 12 charger to very efficiently keep this 12 volt lithium replacement battery nice and full so that it's always there to power your jacks and slides. We've also got our PV disconnects here and then our two solar controllers on the ceiling. And then on the left side, we've got our Lynx distributor set up, the clean install bundle. In the middle, we've got our bypass plugs. All this stuff is on just about every installation, but Sailor is the mastermind behind it all. Isn't that right? As always, we've got a couple cooling fans in here that are gonna circulate air automatically when it gets too warm in here. The only new thing on the inside is the touch screen. So let's go check that out. Here we've got our touch screen. So 
So this is gonna allow the customers to control their inverter charger. They can turn it on and off, set the current limit. They can also see their batteries. So this is communicating with the VoltGo battery directly. We do have the smart shunt in there as the backup, but for the most part, the VoltGo is doing the hard work. And that's just about it for this one. These customers are gonna head on down to the keys and I'm sure they're gonna have a good old time because it's gonna be nice and cool in here. If you're looking to max out the solar, you can fit on your fifth wheel with bifacial solar panels elevated up above the ACs. You know who to call.